hello students i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that a ball e is thrown vertically upward from the top of a 30 meter high building with an initial velocity of 5 meter per second so this black black one is ball a and it, its initial velocity is 5 meter per second and it is released in the upward direction from the height of this building which is equals to 30 meter and it is said that at the same instant another ball b is thrown upward from the ground with an initial velocity of 20 meter per second so this ball b at the same uh, instant when the ball a is thrown upward this ball b is also thrown upward from the ground with initial velocity of 20 meter per second it is said that determine the height from the ground and the time at which they pass so we are required to find the height at which this these two balls will cross each other right so let's say that this line this stage line is the passing point so when if if we consider the ground as a reference for the position of ball a and ball b so then if this is the passing point so the at the at the crossing location when the ball passes each other at that particular instant the position of both the balls will will be equal right so let's say that if this is the reference point and this is some arbitrary location of ball a so its location from the reference ground is as a let's say and it is measured in the upward direction as positive and similarly the location of ball b from the reference ground is as b right and the initial position of ball a when it is released is equal to the height of the building which is h equals to 30 meters so now if we write that the reference is reference is ground now for ball a we can write that its position as a will be equals to its initial position plus its initial velocity so the initial velocity of ball a is 5 times t minus 1 divided by 2 uh, let's say this is plus and the acceleration due to gravity in the upward direction is negative since the ball is deaccelerating in the upward direction so you will write that this is minus 9.81 into t square so this is the equation for the position of ball A from the ground and we know that the initial position of ball A from the ground is the height of the building right so that is 30 meters so we can replace this as A by 30 meters so this will be 30 now similarly for ball B let's say as B is its position and its uh, initial position from the ground plus its initial velocity is 20 into t plus 1 divided by 2 again it is moving in the upward direction so it is deaccelerating and the deacceleration is equal to minus 9.81 into t square and it's since it is released from the ground and the ground is our reference so it is at the origin so sb equals to 0 so now we can write that this sb is equal to 20t plus 9.81 divided by 2 9.81 divided by 2 is 4.905 so this will be we can write this as minus 4.905 t square and similarly we can simplify this this will be 30 plus 5t minus 9.81 divided by 2 is again 4.905 t square this is s a now if this ball a uh, reaches its maximum point and if it returns and if it reaches here this dashed line so at dashed lines both the balls cross each other so then at that particular instant the distance of both the balls from the ground will be equal so let's say that this distance for ball a will be s a and similarly if ball b is here so then as a will be equal to as b so now if we equate these two equations so then we will have let's say as b let me write that as b is equal to as a so as b is 20 t minus 4.905 t square this will be equal to this 30 
30 plus 5t minus 4.905 t square so this t square term will cancel on both sides of the equation and we are left with we are left with 20t equals to 30 plus 5t and if I bring this 5t to the other side of the equation so this will become minus 5t so this will we will be left with this 20t minus 5t is 15t equals to 30 and from this we get t equals to 2 seconds so when they are released after t equals to 2 seconds both the balls pass each other at some point where sa equals to sb now if i put t equals to 2 seconds in, in sa or sb we will get the location of both the balls when they are crossing from the reference point that is from the floor right so we can say that sb which is equal to sa will be equal to 20 times t which is 2 this is sb this is 20 times t minus 4.905 into 2 square so this gives us 20 into 2 is 40 minus 4.905 into 2 square this gives us 20.38 so this is equal to 20.38 meters so when both the balls are crossing each other they are at a distance of uh, 20.38 meters from the reference point that is from the ground so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this helps you in your learning do let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning also subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler dynamics